Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing fine. I will be posting videos on basic grammar. Subscribe to my channel if you wish to hone those language skills that you've been wanting to. Do post your feedback and queries in the comments section below. You can also let me know if you want me to make a video in any particular grammar topic. So let's begin. Today I'm going to start by explaining sentences. Let us begin by understanding what is a sentence. A sentence is a group of words arranged in such a way that they make complete sense. Here what is important to understand is that the group of words should be arranged in a proper sequence and they should convey some meaning. Let us look at these group of words. The dog. So is this a sentence? No, it is not a sentence. The dog barking. This again is not a sentence because it does not convey a complete meaning. Is barking the dog. Here we may see that all the words are in a sentence. But they are not arranged in a proper sequence. So, this also is not a sentence. The dog is barking. Yes, this is a sentence. Because you can see that the group of words are arranged in a proper manner. And they also convey a complete meaning. Let us proceed by understanding the basics of a sentence. A sentence must begin with a capital letter. For example, the boys are playing. Here you can see that the first word, the, in the sentence begins with a capital T. The next point is, a sentence must have a subject. The baby is crying. Here we are talking about the baby, so the baby is a subject in this sentence. I am going to discuss this in detail. Stay tuned. A sentence must have proper punctuation marks. By punctuation marks, we mean comma, full stop, inverted commas, colon, semicolon, etc. So here in this sentence, you can see that proper punctuation marks have been used. Ram, comma, Mohan and Sonu are singing. Full stop. The next point is that a sentence must make a complete sense. This we have already discussed. Let us look at one more example. The monkey. The monkey tree swinging. The monkey is swinging from the tree. Yes, the third set of words is a sentence because they convey a complete meaning and also because they are arranged in a proper sequence. Now, moving further, let us understand what is a subject and predicate in a sentence. A sentence basically is divided into two parts, subject and predicate. The subject is the word or group of words that tell as to what or whom we are talking about. In every sentence, we talk about something. So that something is the subject. A subject is normally a noun and also a pronoun. So whatever we are talking about or whomever we are talking about is the subject in a sentence. The predicate is that part of the sentence which gives us additional information about the subject. Now, in a sentence, there is some information about the subject. This particular part of the sentence tells you what a subject is doing or what a subject is. So, this part is called the predicate of the sentence. Understand this with a few examples. My cat has whiskers. In this sentence, we are talking about the cat. So, 
my cat is the subject and what additional information are we getting about the cat it is that it has whiskers so has whiskers is the predicate similarly in the next sentence the table is broken here in this sentence we are talking about the table so the table is the subject and the additional information that we are getting about the table is that it is broken so is broken is the predicate coming to the next example amritsar is a holy city amritsar is the subject because we are talking about it and is a holy city is the predicate it gives you additional information about the subject that is amritsar he has a blue car now as i discussed earlier a subject can be either a noun or a pronoun so here he is a pronoun which is also our subject because we are talking about he and then he has a blue car has a blue car is the predicate coming to the last example rosie is a sweet girl so here in this sentence can you tell me what are we talking about yes we are talking about rosie and what additional information are we getting about rosie that she is a sweet girl so is a sweet girl will be our predicate a quick recap to what a subject and predicate is subject the naming part of a sentence is the subject it tells who or what the sentence is about predicate the telling part of the sentence is the predicate it tells what happened considering the example here the rabbit ate the carrot so here in the sentence the rabbit is the subject because we are talking about it ate the carrot is the action that has taken place so that is the predicate moving on let us discuss one more concept which is related to the same topic that is compound subject and compound predicate this is normally not asked but since it is a concept related to the same topic i am introducing this to you all sometimes we see that a sentence includes two or more subjects and more than one predicate then we say that the sentence has compound subject or compound predicate let us try to understand this with the help of examples reena and sheena are best friends in this sentence the compound subject is reena and sheena it is called compound because we are talking about two people here so this makes it compound subject moving on to the next example she was born in punjab but educated in delhi in this sentence was born in punjab but educated in delhi is the compound predicate why because it gives us two information about she which is our subject one is that she was born in punjab and the other one is that she was educated in delhi and because these are two different aspects joined together that is why they are called a compound predicate so i hope you all are clear with the topic do drop in your comments in the comment section to let me know if you have any queries and also do leave a feedback for me i will try to answer your queries as much as i can i will come up with more topics on grammar until then stay tuned see you all bye bye